Okay, so for this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up Xbox 360 Neighborhood, and this will basically allow you to uh, copy files over to the console. It will let you um, perform soft reboots. It will let you restart games. It will basically let you do most things that FTP lets you do, albeit a little bit slower. I just like to go this route because it's a little bit easier on, on, on the new users. Um, so before we do anything, what you need to do on your console is you need to go over to your games and you need to load XCX Loader or um, XCX Menu. And in here what you want to do is you want to load into Dash Launch. So let me quickly go and find that. It's Homebrew. Dash Launch. Installer. XCX. So once we're in here, you need to make sure that you have the plugin set up with xbdm.xex at the top of the plugin list. Um, from memory, I don't think it matters, but I like to put it here. And the cell server that I'm using lets me, it, that that's just what it comes with when I download the file. So I've, I've left it as it is because it, it works fine for me. So once you've done that and you know you've got those files, um, you're safe to set everything up. The only thing I would re recommend you doing before going ahead with anything else um, is just making sure you save it. So you want to come down to this and click X, and you can just do X A X a couple of times just to save it and load it. Um, and also, what you need to do is get hold of your IP address of the console. So we can do this by going back to the dashboard. Internet's being a bit slow today, so it might take a little bit longer than normal. Let's load the dashboard. Yeah. Internet's being a bit of a pain in the backside. So you're going to go into settings. You're going to go down to network settings. You're going to go wired or wireless, depending on your setup. You're going to go to configure network. And in here, that's going to be your IP address. You want to note that down. So I know that mine's 192.168.5.207. Um, that's basically everything you need on the console. So now we're going to hop back onto the PC and we're going to continue with the uh, setting up and installation of Neighborhood. Right, so now that we're back on the PC, you're going to need to download the SDK, which will be in the description. Um, it's about 1.4 gigabytes big, so it might take a little bit longer depending on your internet speed. So once you've got that, you want to double click it. It'll prompt you to make changes. You're going to click yes. You're going to click next, next, full, next. And let this start installing um, and then once this done i will just show you what you need to do next so it's just going to take a moment now Once it's done, it's going to prompt you to go ahead and uh, ask you to do a reboot on the PC. So once you get to this bit, I would recommend doing a reboot now. Um, so I'm going to go do that myself and I will be back once the PC has restarted. Right, so once that's all restarted, you want to come back onto your, um, come back onto your PC and you're going to see a Xbox 360 neighborhood thing appear in your quick access. You're going to click on that. And it's going to say add Xbox 360. So you're going to go into this. You're going to click on next. You're going to type in your IP address. So 192.168.5.207. Now obviously yours is going to be different. But you should have got that at the beginning of the video. When we ran through how to get it. You're going to click next. Uh, it's going to ask if you want to use this as your default. I always click yes. Because this is my main console. I'm going to click next. Finish. It's going to take a moment to rejig things. And just like that. You should see a thing on there that says JPEG with a tick. So you can go into that now. Um, you can see retail hard drive emulation and you can see all this stuff on your hard drive in here and obviously you've got your games folder and then you can put emulators and, and all sorts of stuff on here um, it's entirely up to you um, if you want games to come up in XEX menu then I would recommend putting them in a folder just labeled games um, and also from here what you're able to do is uh, launch games so let's say I wanted to play Forza Horizon I could go into Forza Horizon find the default.xex right click and do launch and that would then launch the game on my console without me having to navigate through the things. 
So it's just a nice little little tool to have on the on here. It's an alternative to using um, FTP or copying the files over with a USB stick. Um, obviously, to begin with, you may only have to copy over the um, XBDM um, dot XCX uh, to actually set this up. But then once you've done that, you can pretty much use this for all consoles as long as it's got XBDM dot XCX on the on the hard drive and set up in dash launch. It's it's basically ready to go. Uh, so yeah, it's just another little quick guide, and again, all the links in the description, um, that's where they'll be.